What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys an off-meta Lapras team for Regulation app. Now Lapras now gets access to the brand new move Dragon Cheer, which if you guys do not know, actually boosts his critical hit ratio. So we can actually use that on two Pokemon, Incineroar and Kingdra, to make him do a ridiculous amount of damage. Another thing I did not mention about Dragon Cheer is it does boost it by one stage, but to any Dragon type Pokemon, it boosts it by two stage, giving them a guaranteed crit anytime after that. So with Incineroar with the Dragon Terror type, we can Terrasilize him, pop Dragon Cheer into that, and have that thing critting left and right. Really, really cool. Super excited to be showcasing this. But Lapras has Water Absorb. It has Citrus Berry as item, rocking the Ghost Terror type. It's got Muddy Water, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and then it has Ice Shard for its final move. Like I said, we can use Dragon Cheer onto Incineroar, and this Incineroar build is off meta as well, with Intimidate and the Weakness Policy as its item. It's got Flare Blitz, it's got Protect, Knock Off, and Fake Out, and we can also proc the Weakness Policy with Lapras' Ice Shard. Other Pokemon on this team feature Latias and Metagross, two very strong Pokemon that are very solid in the meta. Then we got Serena over here to stop first in priority, alongside with Sniper, Scope Lens, Kingdra, which is just made for critical hitting. So pair that up with Dragon Cheer, this thing is not missing a crit. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Now this team I found over on Twitter, but I realized it was made by Mr. Kurtastic. Mr. Kurtastic made a few teams that I showcased on the channel, so huge shout out to him. We'll be linking his pages down in the description below, alongside with the Pokepace. So if you guys want to check out Lapras or any of the other Pokemon stats more in depth, make sure you guys head down in the description below. Well, we're going up against an Entei and Shen Pao team here for match number one, alongside with the Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt pairs up well with all these Pokemon, and it hits really, really hard. They also got Frigoramp, they got Ogre Pond, and then last but not least, they do have uh, Flutterman. Now, Ogre Pond looking rather annoying. They're definitely going to be bringing in that Pokemon. And from here, I kind of just want to go into Incineroar, right? Incineroar Lapras. Look to get after it. That's not bad. Definitely not bad. Another Pokemon that I really like here is going to be Serene. Just to stop first turn priority, right? Serena, yeah. Cannot go wrong with that. So, I think we're going to do that. We're going to go Lapras, we're going to go Incineroar, and then in our final slot... Ooh, we could maybe just not go Incineroar here. We could maybe just go... I'm thinking not leading Lapras now. And just go Metagross Latias. Which is good. Serena and Lapras. I like it. I can get down with that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I wonder who they're going to lead. This is going to be tough because we've been using so many meta Pokemon. And I last, and I asked, I think, in the last video or the video before that, would you guys rather see off meta teams on the casual ladder, blah, 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 or meta teams on the rank ladder? What would you guys like to see? And a lot of you guys responded with, hey, yo, do your content, use some off meta teams on the rank ladder, just have fun. We're going to be watching regardless. So huge shout out to all you guys who uh, commented that. And that's exactly what we're doing. Rocking out with Lapras today. They Protosynthesis boost. We got Metagross and Latias on the field. Now, this can be rather annoying. I do have Hard Press. I could attack the Fluttermane, but I feel like the Fluttermane's probably got to swap or protect it, right? At this point, we're just going to go Stomp and catch him and could Tailwind. Could Heal Pulse. Hmm. Now, why would we Heal Pulse? We're going to Tailwind up. Let's get some Speed Control. Now, Fluttermane, it's got to protect or swap, right? I doubt it has a Terror type other than Fairy. Fairy is obviously the best terror type in the game right now for Fluttermane, just giving it access to big time damage. So I think they don't really do anything with Fluttermane. I think they swap it or just protect it. We're just not even going to attack that thing, right? We're going to make the read that he's, that he's swapping it, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All day. All day. So we make the read of him swapping that Pokemon, and he's going to go into Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond comes out here. I'm a little scared of like Draco Meteor coming out here, just taking out Latias, but I did set up Tailwind, which is pretty solid. The Tailwind out and about, Stomp and Cancer is going to fly. Should be able to chunk up some nice damage on this thing. Yeah, not bad. Are you Calm Mind setting up? Hey, he's going to go straight for a Thunderbolt. So he's going to attack my Metagross. My Metagross soaks pretty well, but of course it gets paralyzed, right? Of course it gets paralyzed. So now sitting here, I am paralyzed. Um, I kind of just want to do some big time damage to Ogre Pond, because if I can get rid of Ogre Pond, that could be pretty good. So I'm going to do that, and I'm also going to Heal Pulse, right? And bring Metagross back up to full HP. I think that might be our best bet. That could definitely be our best bet. 
You could go for a follow me. You could do a lot of different things. But we're just going to drop a nice, lovely Psychic Fang into the Ogre Prime. Look at the chunk up damage in that thing. Because I think Pose is a pretty big threat to a Pokemon in the back end. So we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. And they're going to Terrasilize. So they're going to Terrasilize the, uh, the Raging Bolt here. And they're going to go into what type? Man? They're going to go into straight electric. So they're looking to get off some big time damage. So I think they're going to go for Thunderclap here. And we might die out the Thunderclap. I think we do die out the Thunderclap. Unless you're just going for a Thunderbolt, which I would love. And you... Oh no, we're going to heal Pulse on the Ogre Pond now. That's rough. That's rough. Thunderbolt's going to fly here and we're dead. God dang, follow me, man. So Metagross is going to drop out here, no problem. Now I'm going to bring out... Who do I bring out here? I could bring out Lapras, which wouldn't be bad. I could bring out Lapras. I could bring out Serene. Um, huh. What's my play here? What is my play? Because you hit pretty hard. You hit pretty hard. Um, I am scared of that Raging Bolt. That Raging Bolt is just a big threat. But I think from here, we're just going to go to Serene over here. Just to stop first time priority moves from coming in here. So I'm going to go into you. I am going to just start attacking... Well, at least trying to attack the region bolt here, right? Like going into a power whip and on top of that, just miss bowling. Yeah, if you go for follow me, you go for follow me. I'm not too worried about that. So, I'm just going to attack the region bolt. This thing better not be protected. That'd be a big time protect from him. The spiky shield, Ogre Pond, actually protects. A good thing we double down into Raging Bolt. I actually might be able to pick up a KO without that thing attacking. And, of course, it just double protects. Wow, dude, I thought we had a good turn coming on our hands. But, no. But no, we have to get rid of Raging Bolt if we want to pose a threat. We actually, I have to get rid of both of these Pokemon. And that would have been a big turn for us to actually do that. So Power Whip comes out here. Miss Ball comes out here. He double protects. Big time plays for him. So we can go for Follow Me again. I'm just going to do the same thing because I believe we have one more turn left in Tailwind, right? Yeah. One last turn left in Tailwind. We're doing the exact same thing. We're going to double down into this Raging Bolt. So Raging Bolt's just posing too big of a threat. So they can't go for first turn prior to lose, which is rather solid for us. Um, Serene pretty much rips up into that Ogre Pond. It doesn't rip up into it. It just neutralizes all of its moves that it want to use. So I think Ivy Cudgel might come out into the, the Ogre Pond slot. No. I don't know. They withdraw the Raging Bolt, and they end up going into Flutterman, which I do not mind. I don't mind that, because I might be able to just get rid of this Pokemon here. Nope, they just end up using Follow Me. So Follow Me, coming across here. And Miss Ball's going to fly, and how much damage are we going to do? That's okay damage. But we do get a special attack drop, which doesn't really do anything because that thing is physical attack. Power Whip is going to miss. Of course it does. We love this game. And the Tailwind is gone. The Tailwind drops out here. I believe Serene is just straight grass type, so we don't have to worry about anything. We do have Fire Terror type, which not ideal to go into right now. And from here, we're just going to stick with our Power Whip. We're going to throw it into the Flutter Maid slot, and we still are just going to Tailwind up for the rest of the squad to use. Okay. So missing attacks left and right, they end up going for another follow me. Most likely going for a dash and gleam. And now you just go for Shadow Ball, just to rip up in this point. So he's gonna die here, right? No, he survives. Beautiful. Lottie Oz surviving. Getting off another tail, which is just massive. Can we land this power whip? Please and thank you. Thank you. So if the last one landed, we would have KO'd it already. But we do get a crit there to make up for it. So I'll take that. We get rid of Ogre Pond. That's pretty big. And we have Tailwind back out in the battle. <clears throat> So we have Tailwind here, um, we could Terrasilize Serene here, which might be our best bet to go into straight fire, and then just start attacking Entei. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Are we gonna try to go for a high jump kick? 130? Kinda want to, right? I kinda want to. I, I, I kinda want to. Or I can just Power Whip Fluttermane down, because I do have Lapras in the back end, which is pretty solid for us. Lapras is pretty solid. I could double down in the Flutterman here and just save our Terra-type. Because I still have Terra-type, and we're definitely going to want to save that for... Mm, no, we're going to ter Terrasilize Serene here. But I can stop first turn priority boost, which is pretty big for us. You know what? I'm actually going to try to get rid of Flutterman here. I'm going to double down in Flutterman. I'm going to double down in Flutterman. I'm Terrasilize. So I'm going straight fire. I have Lapras in the back end, but Raging Bolt in the back end, not looking too good for us. Definitely not looking too good for us. Especially because we don't have Protect either. We do not have Protect on that Pokemon. But we do stop first turn priority moves, which is great. Miss Ball is going to fly here. As long as this Power Whip lands, we should be able to pick up a KO. 
We do. And we do. Double. We get the big time KO. So we're hoping Sacred Fire is flying across here, right? It is. And now Serene should be able to soak that. No problem. Correct. And now my only problem is Raging Bolt. If I get rid of Raging Bolt, I'm not really worried about the Entei. I have Lapras, pretty bulky Pokemon, water type, beautiful, looking good for us. So now from here, I kind of just want a high jump kick. Actually, Power Whip's are best bet. Stab, it's doing big time damage. Do we double to the Raging Bolt, or do I just heal Pulse this Serene up? I think we just heal this Serene up. We're stopping first turn priority, which is massive. So I kind of want to keep this Pokemon on the field as long as I possibly can. So we'll see what Raging Bolt wants to do. We're going to put Serene back up to full HP, and he ends up just protecting Okay, so not that, not bad of a turn. And I get to end up dropping a heal pulse. Beautiful. So heal pulse out and about. Beautiful. And power whip is going to get blocked. So if I had to guess, Entei's probably taking out the Latias. And no, he's going to stop and tantrum into me, which does some nice damage. Which does some nice damage. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to heal pulse up again. I'm going to drop a nice little power whip into Rage Bolt. Look to just steal the damage into it. So we're healing this Pokemon back up because we need it on the field. We need it on the field. So we bring it up pretty much back up to full. And we miss another power whip. Mm, my lord, I, I can't stand it. I'm missing these power whips. And this might just screw me over because they're double down into me now. I'm missing these power whips. And just, oh, dude. The pain. The pain, man. Because now I just lose this Pokemon. Two missed power whips this match? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. That's really tough. Now our Tailwind goes out, and now they can use first turn priority moves, which really bothers me. It's really rough. It's real rough. It's real rough, because we know Thunderclap's coming out here. I'm not really too worried about Tailwind. Do we set up the Tailwind, or do we just attack? I think we just attack here, right? That's so rough, man. Oh, man, that's real rough. That's real rough. I still think you're the fastest on the field, so I could lower special attack here. And again, we have to get rid of Raging Bolt, so I guess I'll just attack it. Who He might be protecting, but I would think they would just go for a Thunderclap. But no, they're just going to E-speed me here in Thunderclap. You do take Rocky Helmet damage. That's so tough, yo. If we hit this thing with power, we would be sitting in such a good position. Here's Thunderbolt, and yeah, we're, we're definitely dead to that. No shot we survive this. Yeah, so Lapras going out here in match number one. Really rough, really close match. Missing power whips left and right. Real brutal. We end up losing this one. Not a bad first match. Just missed some power whips. But one thing I want to do here in match number two is get out Lapras a lot more. We didn't really get to use it. We brought it out in the field there, but just got dumped on by Raging Bull. But we're going up against a rain team, right? Klefki's got to learn rain dance for these guys. Makes the most sense. They got Zapdos. They're also rocking out with Archer Ludon. And then they got Cramorant, Gudra, and Clodsire, who does have water absorbed. We have to watch out for that. But I think going into Lapras here, turn one, alongside with Incineroar, isn't too bad. I could maybe just start popping Dragon Cheer. That could be really good for us. That could definitely be really good for us. But one thing I am kind of scared of is going to be that Archer Ludon dropping Electro Shots. Definitely a big time problem, but I do like Incineroar and I do like Lapras here. So that's exactly who we're going to end up leading. And in the back end, we are going to bring dun, 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 Serene. You got the, you got the what's called moves. You got the grass moves, but a lot of these guys have secondary typing that can actually do you dirty, right? I could go Metagross, Metagross, eh. I could go Latias, I could go Kingdra. And Kingdra with the Sniper and the Scope ones. Looking pretty good. Terra Blast, wait, what's your Terra type? Always, oh, I kind of like that. We're going to go King Giant. We're going to go Latias here. This is something I actually kind of like a lot. And it is exactly what we're going to do. Actually, we're going to bring Serene over here instead. This high jump kick can do some big time damage over on the Arch Luna. Something I also like. So, let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. We're leading Lapras this time. That first match was actually solid all around. We were playing it good. We got our Tailwind set up. Played a nice little Terror. Just missing two Power Whips. It's rough, especially with a move that's 90 accuracy. That's got to be him. That's got to be him, right? Come on, man. Missing those moves all the time. In Sword and Shield, I used to miss Play Rough all the time. Play Rough was my, was my heartbreaker. Looking like Power Whips are heartbreaker in today's video. When we go Lapras, we end up going into Incineroar. And from here, I think we just set... Do we set up Dragon Cheer? Or do we start slowing him down? 
Instead of Dragon Tear, I can legit just go Icy Wind, slow them down, and I can also pop a Fake Out. Which I don't mind. I don't mind popping a Fake Out onto Zapdos here. And then just slowing him down a little bit. Because Lapras, what's your speed right now? What is your speed? 80, okay, 86. With minus one, are we still going to be able to outspeed? I don't know. I think we should be fine. I'm just going to go into the Fake Out with this slot. I'm just going to pop the Icy Wind. So fake out, clapping on that thing. Rain dance coming out here, and I figured this thing would set up a rain dance. So he gets the rain dance off, we make him flinch, which is solid. We end up popping the icy one. So chances are he's here to pop rain dance, and on top of that, he wants to pop uh screens, right? Most likely. Most likely he wants to pop screens. So from here, will this first turn priority move kill? No. But we could terrasalize and pop a nice muddy water in. That's something I actually really like and I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I am just going to go for... A protect or should I swap here? Could maybe just swap into Kingdra. Get out another rain Pokemon save and send for the back end. I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm going to go into Kingdra. I'll save my Incineroar for later usage. And we'll pop a nice lovely Muddy Water. And we'll terrestrialize Lapras at the same time. So looking to get off some work. We did slow that po uh, both those Pokemon down a little bit. But again, I think they just pop screens. Makes the most sense with Cloud Feet, Rain Dance, Light Screen, Reflect, and then maybe, just maybe, Foul Play. Or Thunder Wave. That thing could just be full on support, which I wouldn't put it over my head. But I end up going into the Ghost Terror type. And Light Screen is now here. Rather annoying, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Actually, we've got some Pokemon that can crit. So Dragon Cheer should have probably been the play. He ends up dropping a Thunder, which Lapras soaks really well. And of course, they paralyze me, man. The paralyze is just roughing me up. Muddy Water is going to connect. I'm going to do a decent amount of damage. And from here, I think Kingdra is going to be fast on the field. So I could Dragon Cheer it up. I could Dragon Cheer it up. Hmm. And I think we are, especially with screens all out and about. I think we just Dragon Cheer it up and we get rid of uh, Zapdos here. I like it. I definitely like it. I'm going to get a little rid of Lapras. They're probably going to set up a light or uh, Reflect here. We'll kind of just get after it that way, right? I like it. He ends up withdrawing Zapdos. He going into... Don't be Clodsire. Don't be Clodsire. Anybody but Clodsire, right? It's Clodsire. The Cloud Tire comes out here, they're just going to scald it, and they're just going to water absorb it. So, they get a free turn out of it, and Playoff's going to fly into it. Okay, I don't mind this turn. I'm able to eat up Citrus Berry. As long as I'm not paralyzed, we should be looking pretty solid. And I get the Dragon Cheer. Yep. Got a Screech. Get a nice little Dragon Cheer here, and I'm boosting that crit. I'm boosting that crit right there. So, I'm pumped. I'm going to crit every single shot here. So now from here, I could pop a Muddy Water. I could just pop an Ice Shard. Ice Shard's definitely going to be your play. So I'll Ice Shard you. And Draco Meteor's going to be free, right? Draco Meteor's going to be free. I could actually Scald you. But Draco Meteor's going to be so free because it's going to crit every single time. So the attack drops or special attack drops won't even matter. I'm going to double down the Cloud Side here. I'm going to look to just kind of dump on this thing. I don't care that Light Screen's here because I'm critting every single shot. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Get it on out my face. If we dump on you, he's just going to go for a play rough and... Oh! Why do you get a crit? You don't deserve that. What? <laughs> Yo! This is some nonsense. This is some real nonsense. This is some real nonsense. This is some real nonsense. I'm going to drink a meteor the same. That, that's some nonsense. That is, that is just some nonsense. I'll tell you that much. Why are you doing so much damage? That, that's got to stop. That has got to stop. So rain is actually almost done. I might want to start attacking Cloud Key, but drink a meteor is still going to crit. Attack drops do not matter. We're dealing some big time damage on that thing. And that thing was able to soak up. It's a little scary. He's going to get a stamina boost. And he's going to electro shot. So, okay. Not too bad. I don't mind the Pokemon that we have in the back end. I don't mind it. Clefki's looking a little scary. 
He is going to take out my... La Actually, Lapras might be able to soak this. Yeah, Lapras does soak it. Awesome. That'll be Lapras. And Player is going to finish off Kingdra. Because for some reason, you got a crit last turn. So absurd. But hey, Dragon Tear, Kingdra, we love it. We love it. We love it. Icy Wind's gonna fly. We're slowing these guys down a little bit. I can now bring out Serene if I want to and start finishing off these Pokemon. Cool. I like this. So Stamina's gonna get the boost. Um, Did we outspeed that thing? Rain's gonna stop too, which is huge. So Rain's gonna stop. I could just go into Serene over here. You got all the boosts though, which is kind of annoying. Um... What's my plan? What's my plan? Do I go into Incineroar? Do I go into Serene? I just want to go into somebody who's faster than... Who's faster than Archiludon. That would be either of these guys, right? And that I know who could pick up KO. I'm going to go into Serene over here. Going into Serene and I'm hoping... Tri can Triple Axel KO? That's my problem. I don't want to risk a high jump kick, right? It's really not my 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 move. I could dragon cheer the other Pokemon. But I'm thinking of just maybe popping a muddy water if he swaps into Zapdos for some reason. Do we think triple axle KOs? I'm not risking it. I'm 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 KOing this thing with high jump kick. I'm landing this. I have faith in this Pokemon. Kind of messed up last game, but I have full faith in this Pokemon. To get up there, drop a little karate chop, high jump kick, bam, right to the face, dead. Serene owes me. Serene owes me, so. Definitely owes me. Definitely owes me. Owes me a high jump kick here. Don't tell me you're ghosts. Do not tell me you're ghosts. Do not tell me you're ghosts. You're ghost? Why are you ghosts? <laughs> Oh my lord. Just so absurd. Reflect gets set up now. My heart's hurting, yo. It's hurting. High jump kick now misses. I'm gonna roll into the floor and take some damage. Half damage. And I get body pressed. I live though. I live though. Muddy water, can you finish off? You don't. I get the act drop, which is pretty big. Stamina's gonna get boosted. I, got, I need to have faith in my Lapras to KO with this Ice Shard. Find out Ice Shard. And I'm going for the high jump kick. <laughs> I'm gonna say Ice Shard KOs. It better. It better. It better. I get you got all these boosts. I get you got Light Screen. But it's sad. I need you, Lapras. I need you here, Lapras. They still have... Still have what's called in the back end. Zapdos, I know that, but I have it in cinema, which isn't bad. I'll probably set up a rain here just to help him out. But I'm going for high jump kick. Of course you have ghost terror type. There's the rain dance. We've seen that coming. Um Ice Shark, just do your thing. Pick up a KO here. I might cry. High jump kick coming in hot. <laughs> Dude. Extra shot finishing us off. Oh my lord. Alright, so I get to bring out Incineroar. He's gonna finish off Lapras here. This is just brutal. This is just brutal. <laughs> this is just brutal. Alright. Okay, I understand. I know where we're sitting. Um, we have Reflex and all that up, which is just terrible. I get to go into Incineroar here. Um, Probably fake out the Clef Key, right? Flex are just ugly. Definitely want to fake out the Klefki here. And then we'll just go triple axle into you. Okay. Brutal. It's brutal out here right now, guys. This is a solid match, too. We got Dragon Tear set up with our Kingdra. We had Dragon Tear set up with our Kingdra. The fake out coming out here, scooping up some damage, but more importantly, getting the flinch. Triple Axel finishes you off. That thing didn't even move. That attack bar, or that HP bar did not move. I think I'm hitting a couple more times. Cool. Get on out of here. 
That HP bar, I don't think we. I think it did negative six damage in the first one. It looked like he gained HP. <laughs> but now they have Zapdos in their final slot. We did hit it with an icy win. So we did chunk up some nice damage on that thing. Clefki now flinches. And did we double down? With the Zapdos? We have this thing low. We have it low. So I love to just KO this thing and just go triple axel. I'm cool. I'm cool with doubling down into this thing. A big play would be for him to protect. I think he goes thunder and then into like a play rough. This is just such a good match too. It's such a good match. Lapras killing it early on here. Same thing with uh, Kingdra. Thunder's gonna fire. You soaked this all day, Sigma. Yeah, all day. No paralyze allowed. Cool. Triple Axel flying. You're dead to that. Klefki's not KOing Incineroar, so this should be a dub. Plus, if he KOs my Incineroar, Serene just outspeeds Nuxer. Big time victory for us. So, hard fought match number two. Fun match here, too. And we end up pulling off this win with the Lapras squad. So, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one to get things started. Let's go hop into our third. Look for a 2 1 winning record. Final match on its way, and I would love to grab ourselves a winning record with this off meta Dragon Cheer Lapras team. Would be so much fun. We are killing it with it right now. We are one and one, and I would like to use Lapras a little bit more here, but they are rocking out with some screens with Grimmsnarl, so a Pokemon that I definitely want to bring is going to be Metagross just to break down those screens. They also have Moltres, I should say Glary Moltres, and then they have Sinistra, Incineroar, Gastrodon, and last but not least, Registeel, who can set up iron defenses and really get off some big time damage. So our crit users, Lapras and Kingdra, could definitely come in clutch. Could definitely come in clutch. Hmm. I could try to pull off the weakest policy combo. That'd be pretty tough. Do I try it? I think we try it. I think we go for it. Let's lead both of these guys. Let's lead them both. They fake me out. They fake me out. It's no big deal. I'm down for both of them. So I'm going to lead Lapras. I'm going to go into Incineroar. I'm going to bring Metagross in the back end just to break screens. And last but not least, we will go into King Drew. We will go into King Drew with this scope. Scope lens sniper. Love it. I definitely love it. So if we can Terrasalize Incineroar here, we can pop the Ice Shard into it. We can pop the weakest policy. And then we can eventually just Dragon Cheer into Incineroar, who would then be a Dragon type. Boost its crit all the way up. Really cool. Definitely a really cool combo. But let's see who they end up leading here. They're going to go Moltres alongside with Grimson. So chances are, they set up the screens. So the screens are probably here. Do we Dragon Cheer at first? Do we Fake Out and then Dragon Cheer at first? That is definitely an option. Which I wouldn't mind. Fake Out, Dragon Cheer, but then being a... Mm. Huh. Do I Dragon Cheer first, or do I Proc Weakness Policy first? I would think we would Dragon Cheer at first, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. He probably sets up screens here. Yeah, I don't mind that. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna dragon cheer at first. We'll pop weak this policy next turn. And we'll just get after it. Loving it, loving it. But I believe crits might I don't think weakness policy matters, right? I could be wrong. Someone let me know in the comment section down below. Does attack boost help out? Does attack boost help out when you're critting? I don't know if they do. I think they all just go down the same, but he ends up just setting up a ledge queen. Which I don't mind. We're dragon cheering this thing up. Dragon cheer. And I could be wrong, dude. I could be wrong. But that always confused me. You guys gotta let me know in the comment section now. So, from here, I'm just gonna pop a Flare Blitz. And I'm also just gonna pop Icy Wind? Or do I, just, do I Ice Shard? So I'm critting here. Could actually just Ice Shard you. I think Icy Wind's actually not a bad call. I kinda wanna get some speed here. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna get some speed here. I think we just go for this Flare Blitz. I think we just go for the spoiler, but so I'm just gonna icy win. They're gonna end up terrestrializing. I could have ice shard just popped up with this policy, but they might do it themselves with uh with what's it called to be honest. Well you got fire terror. Why? Why you got fire terror? They might do it themselves with the with a spirit break here. So he ends up nasty plotting up. Okay, I understand. I can get a muddy water off, that could be big time for us. 
And Flare Blitz is going to fly. It's going to get a big time crit, which we love. But it's still not going to really do much damage. So I'll take some recoil. It might pop weakness policy on me, right? Icy Wind flying. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we get to slow down a little bit. We'll see what he wants to do with it. Is he going for the play rough? Yeah, or Spirit Break, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so he's going to pop weakness policy on his own. So he pops the policy. Love it. <laughs> and then from here, I think I just protect Incineroar and I just start popping Muddy Waters, right? Or I can Icy Wind again. Wouldn't be bad. I think Muddy Water a little bit more in our favor. So protect you, Muddy Water. I know Light Screen's up. I could just Icy Wind again, but like my Dark Moves, not really doing anything crazy. I think we're actually just going to Icy Wind here. I think we are just going to Icy Wind. Yeah, I just want to slow down a little bit. I just want to slow him down just a bit more. But I still think... Actually, Incineroar probably outspeeds the Moltres, but I just want what's called to be able to outspeed. So he ends up trying to go for a parting shot. We have Incineroar out and about here. We force him to use our Terra as well, and Icy Wind is cooking. We force him to use parting shot, and I wonder what Moltres is going for. Because Moltres is plus two. Let's, let's not forget that. Fire Wrath comes through. The Fire Wrath flying through. I know they have Light Screen. We are going to be able to soak that up with a Lapras. And from here, we shall just go for a knockoff into a Muddy Water, right? Yes, even though I think I think knockoff KOs, we still should be fine. So he ends up party shot. We're still plus one. We're still Dragon cheered up, so our crits are going crazy. And I think we should still be able to get rid of this, uh, this Moltres. Because it didn't protect, which is big. It did not protect. Lapras still on the field looking as pretty as ever. And they end up going into... Mm, <laughs> Gastron. But we still hit the Moltres, which is good. But we're giving them a free attack boost. So, we knock off the Citrus Berry. We deal some nice damage. He is going to Berserk Pop. So, Lapras, I need you... I need you to land this Muddy Water onto it, right? He's going to Storm Drain up Gastron, but it still hits the Moltres. And you... <laughs> Dude. I don't know what to do today, guys. I don't know. Like, my RNG is off the charts bad right now. Off the charts terrible. Off the charts ban. I should still have a Incineroar Dragon cheered up, ready to rock, right? Ready to go. Oh man, that, that hurts the soul. That definitely hurts the soul. Uh, I can go into Metagross here. Bull Punch isn't bad. I want to try to Dragon cheer this Kingdra up, right? And that'd probably be my best bet. Just to Dragon cheer into that and finish off the... Uh, and finish off the Moltres, right? That is brutal, man. That's so brutal. That's so brutal. So I can't go for a Scald. Uh, I I guess we'll go for a Draco Meteor. I mean, Terra Blast should KO. So, you know, we'll just go Terra Blast here and we'll just Dragon Cheer. That's brutal. That's brutal. So I'll go Dragon Cheer. I can't go for a Scald. And I'm just missing attacks. He's going to end up withdrawing Gastron. So Gastron gets the withdrawal here. They're going to go back into Grimstone Is a possibility. Now they're going to Sinisha just for HP. Now they're just going to be able to survive this. Oh, man. Oh, man. And he has a Protect. Okay, that's that's solid. That That's solid for us. That's definitely solid for us. That's definitely solid. Because they can Rage Powder. They can Rage Powder 100%. Um, but from here, I get off the free Dragon Chair onto this thing. So this thing is just ready to go. He is ready to go. So Moltres is still posing threat. It is still minus two, which is pretty solid for us. And I think from here, we just Draco Meteor this slot. And we just go into a Muddy Water. Because the thing is, Lapras outspeeds this Moltres with it being minus two. If they do end up going for a Rage Powder, Muddy Water will still hit and it will still KO that. If they swap into Gastron in that slot, Draco Meteor will probably kill the Gastron or do big time damage. And Muddy Water will still KO. So I'm cool with this turn right here. Draco Meteor is going to fly. Doing some big damage onto Sinisha and getting rid of it with Dragon Cheer. Critting left and right. Our special attack drops do not matter. Now, Lapras, can you do me a favor? Can you pick up a KO here and land a Muddy Water? Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was missing. And you don't... This is rough today. Yo, we're sitting in such a rough position. Fire Wrath coming out here. We do get the accuracy drop and Kingdra dodge that. So that's pretty big. But it kind of... It like... This is just so brutal. It's brutal today. Lapras is killing it, though. Lapras is definitely killing it. So they have Light Screen up, and I understand that. We now get to bring out my boy. 
they get to bring out Gaston, who's gonna take a drinking meter straight to the mid. That's still meta use. So they got Grimstrong in the back end. These are their final Pokemon. This is just a mess of a, a video today. But Drinking Meteor, I'm going to stick with it. My special attack drops do not matter because my crit is just boosted through the roof. And you outspeed, so I'm just going to break screens. I'm just going to break screens. You outspeed, Metagross. I mean, Bullet Punch, not a bad play. Is Bullet Punch going to KO? You know, I'm just going to Bullet Punch. Just play it smart. The ends up protecting. All good. No worries. And Bullet Punch is just going to get blocked. He blocked Bullet Punch. Jacob Meteor's gonna fly. What do you guys want me to do? I'm I just miss these attacks left and right. It's brutal. It's brutal. I'm still gonna try to go for Jacob Meteor, even though, even though he's gonna protect you, even though he protects, I'm I'm still gonna go for Jacob Meteor. No, he just withdraws. Okay, he withdraw Moltres. So Moltres is going to get the withdrawal. They don't have Reflect Up, which is good for us. I'm not worried about the Light Screen. Because it doesn't really matter too much to me. I'm just critting with my Special Attacker. And I end up doing some nice damage. Dracometer is... They're not going to protect, which is huge. Dracometer is just going to take it out. That's massive. That's massive. King Joe with Dragon Cheer ripping up. But dude, this is just a mess. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying off-meta team going crazy today. RNG going crazy today. <laughs> Okay, so Light Screen's gone. I don't believe they have Reflect, but the way that Bullet Punch kind of hit made me think that they do have Reflect, right? Making me think they do have Reflect. Let's see. No, they don't They don't have Reflect, so I was right. So from here, they could protect that Pokemon. Um, I'm just going to try to Scold. It's going to be a crit. And I'm just going to try to Bullet Punch you. It's Bullet Punch KOs, even, even through Reflect. If you, if you set up a Reflect here... Bull Punch is still going to kill. So Bull Punch flies. We're going to say bye-bye to Moltres. This match is pretty much wrapped, right? Wrap it up. Because one more Bull Punch will KO the Grimstrong. So crazy third and final match. Dragon Cheer going crazy. RNG being an absolute mess. And we're going to end up still winning. They set up a Reflect. He thought the Reflect would come out before the Bull Punch. Nah, yo. Your Grimstrong is slower. Your Grim Snarl Slower. So Dragon Cheer going awesome. This is my first time using Dragon Cheer though. So I kinda I kinda explained it a little wrong in the in the intro. But still, we rocked out with it today. We had a tough time landing moves today, but still going two and one. Absolutely loving this Dragon Cheer Lapras team. Rocking out with the off-meta squad. You had the sniper Kingdra getting some big time crits, and then with this policy and center, we got to use in the final match. Really, really cool squad. Got to use all these Pokemon and absolutely kill it today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.